and final main topic today. And our third and final main topic today is this. So the trailer for Across the Spider-Verse, the, the first full trailer for Across the Spider-Verse ha has dropped today. And we just had a chance to check it out. We want to give you our reactions and thoughts to it. And I just want to start off by saying that um, quite often I say that the, you know, the Sony um, should be trusted with Spider-Man movies because, and I said this years ago, Trevor, when they were taking back Spider-Man and you were upset. And I said, Hey, at the end of the day, um, Sony's made great. They, every Spider-Man they move movie they ever made. First of all, was financially successful. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Um, and then outside of that, they were all it, it, somewhere between decent movies to really, really good. Yeah. And to maybe, one specifically being Spider-Man to Sam, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man two potentially being maybe still in the discussion for the greatest comic book movie ever made. I mean, especially given the time and the era and where right. comic book movies existed at you the at time. You at least have to give it an honorable mention. For sure. Um, so I've always said that Sony should be trusted and nothing is more proof positive than the other thing that I say, which is the greatest cinematic uh, theater release Spider-Man theatrical release film ever made is Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. It is, uh, I believe, I don't want to say, but I think it was a 99 on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I, mean, I still it think a it's a 90, right? Um, it, it's really good. Um, the animation style is very unique. The storytelling is very unique. Seeing a Peter Parker, seeing all these, you know, Peter Porker, seeing uh, right. Nick Cage as, as the noir Spider-Man, all these different versions of it were great. Uh, Trevor, we actually talked on the show yesterday or a couple, maybe it was last Friday, about something to do with this. And I said, wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the PlayStation 1 Spider-Man in this somehow right and right. in this trailer i don't know if you caught it he is in it is he really the spider-man from ps1 is in the goddamn that. movie that's amazing and that look and that's freaking awesome man so oh my um, god i love that there's a scene where there's about like literally 30 spider-man attacking miles morales and if you can pause on that scene that's where you'll see the playstation one version and maybe the sony ps4 version and all right. these different you know um oh, I, I also mentioned how cool it would, would it be to see the uh 90 uh, animated, yeah, right. yeah that there, one's in there there's no sure. way we're not seeing that right. now, right? Yeah. Um, also, Oscar Isaac playing Spider Man 2099 is freaking awesome. Oh or, my god! Or Ultimate Spider Man, whatever you want to call him. Um, yeah, uh, there's so much fun in this movie. Uh, it's also a part one of two of a two part kind of event that's gonna, I believe, this thing. I'm gonna say it right now. I know this is gonna be four years or five years before this ever comes to fruition. But this th whole thing ends with Miles Morales entering to live action. The, 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 the two films that they're doing, this trilogy of Into the Spider-Verse ends with Miles Morales actually coming into real life world and then the next movie we get is a Miles Morales Spider-Man movie. I, I actually, Trevor, if you remember, I actually called after seeing Into the Spider-Verse and then we heard that they were taking away Spider-Man. If you remember, I, I was actually the one to say, dude, I think they're going to do a live action Spider-Verse. I think they're going to try to do live action where they bring Tobey Maguire, Andrew okay Garfield, and guess what? Right. <laughs> they Those goddamn miles. did the thing, right? right? And I, I honestly think that seriously this ends with Miles becoming live action and him becoming the new kind of premiere character at Sony for Spider-Man. And then you can take Peter and go license him to to marvel for a bunch of freaking money right. you, know, you guys want to use this that version we don't even need him anymore right we got it yeah we got our spider-man and not only do we got him he is the premier the the fact of the matter is is the best version of spider-man is Miles morales miles morales's version and it's the most relatable it's the most uh 
diverse in a time right now where that's all everyone is clamoring for is more diversity, more, you know, all of this shit. It, it fits in perfectly that he's a half black, half Mexican kid. He's a, he's a, he will be a man. If we could get, uh, uh, Donald Glover to somehow <laughs> man's like 40 now. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he still looks young. Black don't yeah. crack. Man. Yeah. But he can't. He did, I mean, he the lo, the youngest he could play is like twenty nine. There you go. Okay, so he's a he's a junior in college, or a senior in college. That's what the nineties animated series is. He's a college guy in that series. He's no longer a high school kid, and that would be kind of interesting. Too. I mean, I wouldn't have any. I don't know. If you Maybe can make he it just happen, plays his please. uncle still, like he That's does fine it. With right? Me. Whatever. But my point right. is, we. I think this ends with Miles Morales being their premier character, and it and it crossing over, right? Because the thing is, is. Uh, you can't end this trilogy with more Miles Morales animated movies. You can't because we just had a trilogy of them. Right. But you could literally kick off a trilogy of live action Miles Morales movies and everyone would go, ooh, right. and we love how this connects and we love how this, ooh, will we get live action Isaac, uh, uh, Oscar Isaacs now? Right. Will we get live, you know, what does this mean? What could, you right, it means, it opens the door for so much and then what does it mean for for the world that that they've created with morbius and Craven the hunter and how does that all play into it i i think sony's got a lot going on here for themselves I and so. and i think there's a big world to be uh explored here um obviously we've uh, here at the channel we we dig the venom franchise we love tom hardy and and um those movies aren't great but they're just so much fun and just just silly fun um so yeah, we hope that they that this all you know ties in in a in a good way. But this trailer looks awesome, man, and I'm super I'm super excited to see it. Tre uh, Trevor, you've seen the trailer just a little mm -hmm. bit ago. Tell me what are your thoughts on it, man? Man, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know, it's like the first movie was absolutely killer. I mean, it was it's a 97 by the way. It's uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. I mean, it is. That is crazy high, and I mean, it deserves it, in my opinion. I mean, a uh, hundred percent wouldn't necessarily be off the table for how good that movie is. Like, it is a genuinely all-star type of film. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, you didn't have like you know, uh, I've, I've I said before uh, when we you know talked about something like um, the Marvel, the Mario movie, like. The goal of the trailer is to make you more excited than you were before, you yeah. know. And the Mario Increase one made me a lot more. Level. Yeah. Yeah. The Mario one made me a lot more excited, you know, because I didn't give a crap about the Mario one at all. This one, I was already excited about it, and the trailer just amped it up a little more because I was like, "Yep, just what I thought. It's gonna be awesome." Like, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> as expected. Right. <laughs> all right, I was correct, um, but. I, I mean, I think that that's the, the, that'd be a great idea the, to, to bring him into live action. I, and I think it'd be, I don't know. I, I trust, I, I trust Sony to a degree. I trust them in their animation department. Their animation department to me has pretty, pretty much been spot on often, but their, their film department, their like film proper department is the very definition of hit and miss. I mean, like sometimes some of those Sony movies, like, they're not just bad. They're, like, totally soulless. Like, so, like, they hurt to watch, you know? I, I mean, there's, and they, they have, like, I always know when I'm getting into one because they get this, like, real, this, like, very specific gradient effect on the on the screen. And it just, hmm. ugh, I hate it. They call it the Sony effect. Um, you know, so, I mean, what... I think it's a cool idea, and if you can get that same kind of spirit and magic that is coming in from these these animated movies into a Miles Morales like feature film, with live action, oh my god, I'm in. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, now, do I trust them to do it? No, not yet. Um, I mean, to me, and, and I mean, I'd even if they could pull it off, I'd even be more excited because I love Tom Hardy as as Venom. You know, that's a great right. casting choice. I hate Jared Leto as a person. He's a terrible individual, but he did a great job. I mean, he's like a, he does a good job as that character as Morbius. Like, so I'd kind of like to see more of him. Aaron Taylor Johnson is craving the hunter. Oh my God. Come on. I mean, that's a great, I mean, the casting choices all around have been awesome, but 
a lot of the movies that they've actually made in whatever universe they're trying to do. I mean, it's just. I mean, some of them have been like. I mean, I like. I like Venom One as a whole. Like it was a fun movie, and I enjoyed it. The second one. I didn't. Re- I'll be honest. I didn't like the second one very much. The second yeah, one. Yeah, I wasn't as yeah. big on it, but it it it, it, was, it pushed. Past it had its fun moments, it, though. It, it did. Yeah, it did. But it to me, it was a little too campy. Yeah, it was a little too dumb. Like yep. it, like the first one walked it pretty good. I still wanted. A, I, it wasn't really the movie that I necessarily wanted, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. The second one, I didn't even really enjoy it for what it was. Like I was like, and it sucked because Woody Harrelson as Carnage should have been. I mean, yeah. he was great. Uh, he was great. I mean, know, he's, but, like, he's always but great. He was acting yeah. through a bad script. You yeah. Know? So I was like, man, this it wasn't dude- even a bad script. It was just like a non-script. Yeah. Right. Like right. There's nothing going on in that. Yeah. Movie. There's not well, a story. I mean, even the dialogue is just so. It's almost like one of those scripts where it's like, well, we these are just suggestions. Right, <laughs> you, right. You've got to come, on, Woody. Right. Be, be, be Woody Harrelson. What right. do you think we hired you for? Right, you were on Cheers for like five, you know six years, we want bro. You to write this part, right? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I definitely, and so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. And I, I mean, they do that a lot. They, they hit that a lot. I mean, the, the Sony, some, sometimes that Sony film department. I'm just like, what, what is going on over there, man? Like, what are you thinking? You know, so, I mean, I'm excited right. for this movie. Yeah. And I'm excited for the idea that we could maybe wrap these things up and finally give all of these good casting choices a chance to really shine. But do I actually believe that they could pull those later ones off? No. Yeah. No, I do not. For sure. For sure. Mm. But, guys, you guys have probably had a chance to check out, check this trailer out. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, but, yeah, what are you guys' thoughts? Are you guys excited for this? How would you feel about the first uh, spider into the spider verse um do you like that it's a two-part series yeah definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below That's right.